Thank you so much. I am a, I'm not a natural comedian. Even on a good night, people would come up to me after the show and say, geez, you make it look so hard. I grew up in, uh, in, in New York City, but I would spend summers in upstate New York with my grandfather, and he had a, a low-budget freak show. He had a, uh, a bearded man. <laughs> a mental midget. <laughs> he couldn't afford a fat lady. He had a woman who was premenstrual, a little bloated. No Siamese twins, two guys with a joint checking account. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, I was molested by my rabbi in New York City. That usually gets an applause break. <laughs> he said to me, Jonathan, any change you find in my pockets, you can keep. And I told this to my shrink many years ago, many years later, and she said, Jonathan, that is so lucrative. <laughs> Lately, I think my wife has been fooling around because our parrot keeps saying, give it to me hard and fast before my husband, John Katz, comes home. <laughs> and yes, I'd love a cracker. When my oldest daughter turned 15, she asked my wife and I if she could go on birth control pills, and we didn't think she was old enough, so we gave her placebos. <laughs> Anybody notice this woman outside, a blind woman with two seeing eye dogs right in front of the club? And I said, none of my business, but why two? She said, one is for reading. So I grew up in New York City, but when I go back there now, I'm not tuned into the New York accent. I got in a crowded elevator. The elevator man said, call out your flaws. I said, I'm impatient with the elderly. <laughs> I used to have a, a call-in show for Alzheimer's, and everybody was a first-time caller. <laughs> Young polar bear comes home from school, true story. And he says, Mother, am I really a polar bear? She says, of course you're a polar bear. Go to bed. He comes home the next day and says, Dad, are you really a polar bear? He says, of course I'm a polar bear. Good night. This goes on for weeks, for months. Were your parents polar bears? Were their parents polar bears? Am I, in fact, a purebred polar bear? The father finally says, enough. Why do you keep asking us these questions? He said, because I am fucking freezing. When I was single, I always, always had a hard time reading signals from, from women. I was at a party in Hollywood, and this beautiful blonde starlet comes up to me, and she said, my husband's away for the weekend. How about a lift home? I said, if you knew he was going to be away, you should have made travel arrangements. <laughs> Last night at the bar at the hotel, this, maybe I had a little too much to drink, and this woman sits down next to me, young woman, and, we have a few drinks, and at some point she says to me, want to go to your room? And I said, sure, but what are you going to do? <laughs> I woke up with no sensation in my right hand this morning. You ever do that? You sleep in a weird position, you cut off the circulation. I tried moving my fingers, and nothing happens. With my left hand, I pinch my right hand, no feeling. I take a pin from the night table. I prick my finger, my wife screams at the top of her lungs. <laughs> what a relief. Thank you so much.